Hey YouTube, it's Lipmon Queen here. Just want to get in here today and I wanted to do a Dollar Tree haul collab. This is going to be a collab with Gina. I will link her channel down below and um, her Instagram so you can check her out and follow her there. I was so excited when she asked me if I wanted to do this collab with her because I enjoy doing collabs and um, I enjoy watching Gina's channel. I love all the content on her channel. She's just a really awesome YouTuber. Um, so I felt honored when she asked me if I wanted to do a collab with her. So I wanted to thank her for that. And also, I want to go ahead and get into the haul because I do have quite a few items. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first item that I picked up from Dollar Tree is from the brand Bath Treasures. And this is the Glitter Bath Bombs. It says, let your sparkle shine and you get three fizzy bath bombs. So I'm really excited for this. I love bath bombs and um, these are distributed by Blue Cross Laboratories and they're um, they're in um, California. So these are not the Greenbrier brand like you see in Dollar Tree now. But i um, really excited to try those out. So happy for that. Then I picked up two packs of the uh, Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. You get a 25 count and this is the brand Sassy and Chic. I picked up one pack of the regular uh, makeup remover. I think these um, get waterproof mascara off, so I got that pack. And then I found the Sensitive Skin, and I picked that one up as well. So I'm really excited for that. Very happy to have those. All right, and so then if you were watching, um, if you've been on my channel for a while and you've watched my last Dollar Tree haul where I mentioned the Flavor It lip balms, I did pick up the brownie cake pop lip balm and the donut one. Well, I went back to that store because my other store didn't get them um, that's closer to me. So I picked up the rest they had from the collection and I picked up the kiwi, the strawberry, the watermelon, and the ice cream. So what I want to do is I'm going to do a separate video on that. But like I had mentioned in my video before, um, I want to take those and compare them to Lip Smackers. Because um, the same brand, Mark Ones, makes these. I'm not saying these are Lip Smackers, but I'm saying that they're very, very similar to where I almost think they are. Um, so I want to do a comparison to see out of my Lip Smacker collection if these are identical to the ones they say they are so i'm gonna try that out and I, that'll be a separate video i'm gonna have to get all my lip smackers together and try to find matches to those but i'm just really excited for that so stay tuned for that video coming up soon because i am going to uh do that for you guys all right and so then i picked up some um uh, makeup i picked up the elf prismatic eyeliner pencil in cosmic and I was curious um, on how this would look. I did because if you look at it, it just looks white, like a white tip. And so I was curious if it would go on white or if it's going to have an iridescent effect. Because it did say it was cosmic. So let me see. Oh wow, it is white, but it does have an iridescent look to it. Oh, that's really cool. Because um, I plan on doing a upcoming video soon on um i'm gonna do a 90s uh, makeup look and i wanted to use that that's why i picked that up because i thought that would look cool um like an iridescent look to the face because i'm gonna do instead of doing the grunge 90s look that everybody always did um i want to do more of a um i don't know what's the word like a sparkly shimmery kind of um like makeup look um so I want to uh, definitely use this in that uh, video, so I was excited to pick that up. I was hoping that it wasn't just white and that it actually had like an iridescent look to it, so I'm very pumped about that. Very happy that that had the iridescent look to it. And now on to some of the new Bolero line. Um, I went to like three different stores to find this stuff, um, so I'm really excited to find um, the Bolero facial wipes. You get 30 in the pack, and it's the pink and sea salt and rose water. I am so excited to have these. Um, I was going to see if you could smell them. Let me see. Oh man, those smell really good. I like that because the rose isn't overpowering in that. It's like you get the mixture of like a light rose scent and a little bit of like a, like a salty smell too. It smells really good together. And it almost has a little bit of a floral scent too. It smells really good. So I'm very, very excited for that. Um, so... Definitely going to be using that. Um, and then I picked up the um, 
hand cream set and this is the two pack you get it hydrates and moisturizes for silky smooth skin and it's the pink sea salt and rose water so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this and I'm going to open up one and I'm going to test it out for you guys. Because a lot of people ask me uh, when I haul like Valero hand creams and body lotions and stuff. They always ask me if, um, if it's watery or if it's sticky feeling on your hands after you apply it. So I'm going to just find out for you guys. Let me take this sticky stuff off. They've always got like glue on the back of this holding it in the box. So this is what it looks like. So let's try it out because I'm a sucker for a good hand lotion or hand cream. I absolutely love um, all kinds of different lotions. I just love that. It's weird. I go through spells. Sometimes I'm just like not into lotions and I'll just use body sprays. But a lot of times now, like, like for the past year, I've been into like body lotions and hand creams and stuff. I just absolutely love it. But I do go through like spurts of that. Like I won't like it and then I will. So I'm in the, I'm in the spot now where I'm really liking it again. Let me get this little, they have like a little protector seal on it. It smells good. Okay, so that is the product. I put a little bit in my hand. Oh, wow. Okay, so I did recently purchase the coconut and rose was it coconut, rose, and sea salt or something? I don't know, something like that from their last Bolero line they did. And um, I was really impressed with the hand creams. It doesn't leave your hands feeling sticky. Um, it's just like the more warmth and um, friction you put on it and rub it in, it absorbs in the skin. So this one here, it don't feel sticky because it starts absorbing. It makes your hands feel super soft. Um, and I really like that scent because you think that the rose would really overpower it, but it doesn't. It just smells really nice. Um, so I'm really impressed with that. So I really like this one. This is good. This would be good to throw in my purse just to have on hand. Um, and then I picked up the facial serum from um, Bolero. This is the pink sea salt and rose water as well. I was curious about this because I don't use, I have sensitive skin, so I can't use a whole lot of like skincare products that I'm not like sure about, you know, like I have to know for sure that's not going to break me out. Um, but, uh, let's see if I can get it open. They have it taped really good. But I wanted to see how this was. I had purchased a serum from them before, but I never tried it. It's just sitting on my like backup shelf and I need to do it. But I wanted to do this one because I thought this was such an interesting scent. Because I smelled the scent through the uh, bath salts they have in the store. I didn't pick up none of those this time because I still have a ton of bath salts from previous hauls. So this says it gently cleanses your luscious skin, leaving it hydrated and silky smooth. But I am actually going to try this, guys, because I really want to know um, how this will do with my skin. Um, like I said, I do have sensitive skin, so I do get a little worried about stuff like that. But it does have the little medicine dropper. And it smells really nice. It's not overly fragrant. It smells really nice. And um, I'm actually really intrigued to try it. So I will be trying that out soon. So very excited for that. And that's actually a really nice amount you get too for a dollar. It's a one fluid um, ounce. That's a really good deal. So then um, I also picked up uh, their new line also. This is the Blueberry Bliss plant-based plant soap. I love to buy their soaps. And what I could smell of it. It smells like a blueberry, um, like a blueberry muffin or something. It smells so good. It's a really sweet blueberry scent. And I'm really excited for that because I love their plant-based soaps. They smell so good and they make your skin feel good. And then I picked up two um, of the facial mist. It says, your new secret weapon for soft and smooth skin. It says it's free of parabens and dyes. So I thought this, the packaging is beautiful. I love the packaging. Um, and this is in the Blueberry Bliss. Let me open it and see if it still smells like a blueberry muffin. Okay, so this one definitely has a blueberry scent. It don't have more of that muffin scent like I smell through the soap, but it does have a nice blueberry scent. So I'm really impressed with that. I cannot wait to try that out. I'm really excited. And then I also picked up the one that says All That, Gl All that Glitz. And this is the pomegranate and green tea facial mist. And this is supposed to hydrate your skin. So that one's supposed to make it soft. This one's supposed to hydrate. Oh man, this one smells so good. 
So I do recommend getting both of these um, just by scent wise. They smell fantastic. So I will be trying these out and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Um, but this one's supposed to make your skin soft and smooth. This one's supposed to hydrate. So I'm really excited for those. And then I did pick up two of the um, actual facial wash. I did pick up the Blueberry Bliss. I was excited for that one. And then I also picked up this one because I didn't have the All That Glitz facial wash. But I did pick up the Free of Parabens and Dye Coconut Aloe Vera facial wash. So I'm really excited for this one. I want to smell this one. I feel like if I start opening it, it's going to leak out. But I just want to smell it. Hopefully. Let me get my little blade here. Oh man. I just cut like a little hole in the top, if you can see that right there. That smells so good. Oh man, I hope they have a facial mist in this because I definitely want to find it if they do. That smells fantastic. This one's supposed to moisturize and brighten your skin, so um, I'm excited for that. Um, so I definitely wanted to get on here today and share those items with you guys. There are two other products that I did pick up that were makeup related and I did not show them when I showed the eyeliner. So let me show you that real quick. Um, I picked up the um, the Colors Workshop um, lip gloss. This is the High Shine lip gloss. And I don't know if it has a color or not. I might have to... I don't think it has a color name. But it's a really pretty, like, peachy um, colored gloss. So I'm really excited for this. Let me open it real quick and I'll swatch it. Yeah, it doesn't have a name on it. But it is like a peachy um, gloss. So let me swatch it. It's not scented. The packaging reminds me of the Wet n Wild glosses a little bit. So this one's super sheer. It just gives you that really beautiful shimmery uh, shine to your lips. Look how beautiful it is. It has like a peachy, a light peachy tint. And it just shines. So it's absolutely beautiful. It's just really sheer. So if you don't mind a sheer gloss that's just like a topper for something, then uh, you'll really like that. Um, and then I just picked up one of the Color Shop uh, Moisturizing Colored Lipsticks. Um, so let's try this one out. And I don't know if this one has a name either. Let me look. No. Oh, and so the same brand that makes the Flavor It's uh, Lip Balms, Mark ones, they make this brand as well. So that would make sense why this one looks like a wet and wild gloss because they make wet and wild. Okay, that makes sense then. All right, so there is the moisturizing color um, lipstick. Ooh, it's really pretty. It's like a nude um, shade. There's no scent to it. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a pinky nude color. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera or not. I'm trying to move so you can see it in the light. It's just really like a light um, tint of color, but it's so pretty. It's just a, like a pinky nude color. So I'm excited for these items I picked up. Um, I'm trying not to go all crazy and pick up a whole bunch of stuff at Dollar Tree anymore. I'm just trying to get the things I know I'm going to use because I've recently done a huge big makeup declutter. I didn't do it on the camera. I just did it and I passed some items along and... It felt good to do that because I really had a lot of items in my collection that I do not use. So, when I just saw these items here, I thought, I do want to pick these up because these are ones I'm actually going to use and I was really excited for. So, I wanted to get on here today, share with you guys. I wanted to thank Gina for doing this awesome collab with me. And I hope you guys check out her channel. I will link her Instagram and her YouTube channel down below. So, definitely check her out. Follow her on Instagram and subscribe to her channel um, on YouTube. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.